Today is a good day for me. Today, my Ventrac gets delivered. Today, my Ventrac gets re-delivered. How about that? They fixed it. They tested it. They were going to deliver it two days ago, and then something about golfing. I guess people making millions of dollars out swinging sticks, hitting balls is more important than me trying to mow hillsides. And I understand that. Right? I mean, there's people that like to take a nap while they're watching TV, so that's probably a more important event. So what I did last night, cleared out a small hole, pulled this vent rack into. This is a mess. This is where I had my chickens whenever they were young, before I moved them outside. Chickens are dumb. Oh, you hear, probably hear the rain on the roof now. It's starting up again. Chickens are dumb, but they were smart enough to go inside the covered area they have. So they're all bundled up inside the covered area in their outdoor coop. Anyway, I expect the tractor to be delivered very soon. He said 45 minutes. This weather, I was going to be surprised if he made it in an hour, which was about now. We sh he should be here any minute. We'll crank this back up whenever I hear him coming. As soon as I turned the camera off, he come pondering down the road and is now unloading my Ventrac. That was a lucky guess when I said he'd be here any minute. You probably can't see the truck on the video. The little white blob right there is the truck. I heard the uh, trailer ramps being knocked over onto the road. And over this rain, I doubt you can hear that very distinct Kubota gas engine on the Ventrac running. We are getting close to having it back in our possession. This poor guy gets the fun and excitement of delivering these machines no matter what the rain, wind, sun is like. So I feel for him, but I am happy he is bringing this thing up the drive. Hey, it still has a canopy on it. have it back it fit in the pole barn just fine pole barns a mess pardon the mess that is due to us consolidating and one of these days I'll get in here and clean out the mess but for now before we play with this machine excuse me before we use this machine as the work implement it is intended to be Let's look and see exactly what fitting was loose and just kind of check as if there's anything that I need to be cautious of. Let's take a look and see. What do we have here? I'm not a mechanic, but taking this plate cover off is not exactly a challenging endeavor. Before I do that, let me find a place to store. We'll use that box right there. I don't want to knock these little bolts around and lose them. Sadly, seems like around here when you drop something, that's about the end of it. And I do assume oh, that's that bolt that you gotta. 
need to remember how. You need to lift. That's the one for the that version of cruise control, I think. Is, they have some fancy term, but I think it's just basically what the SDLA lever slowly returned back to where it was. Neutral. Covers off. Again, point point of this channel is to uh, learn how to not do things. Let me just set it right there. Now let's take a gander. Well, it's tight up in there. So what they had told me was, I'm gonna block your view here for a minute. It was a fitting, I couldn't miss it. Maybe if I had some light. Oh, I bet you that right there. That's. He said it was a fitting coming towards from the front back. And he said it was... I was feeling to see... You know, like if you hit a bolt not quite right, you can mar up the sides and edges. I was looking to see if there's anything not quite smooth. Because it's not that fitting. But I thought he said it was on the side. So on this pump, we have the one, two, three. Because I specifically asked, was it the bolt, the one of the fittings going down in? And I was told no, it's coming in from the side. Hmm. They did clean it up in here. So, I mean. This. I mean, it's still a little slippery, but you know what? All that oil that was pulled up in here before, not here anymore. That's goodness. So that's a baseline that we can compare against now. Oil, not on these, this bolt. I hit something. That's not blood. That's dirt from somewhere in here. Nothing. But see, this whole top black pump was dry so it was not this fitting up here it had to be on the side because everything up here everything up here was dry the top of the pump was dry i focused on the left side as you're sitting in the seat i didn't focus on the right side oh i wonder if that was it That bolt's down there. Holy crap, that'd be hard to get to. There's a fitting down there. I'm going to grab the camera and show you. Just like I said, you know, if you put a wrench on a bolt and you move it wrong, you can mar up the edges of the bolt. Let me see if I can get this little GoPro here. Touch the screen so I can see it myself. But if you look... Not at the bolt, not that short one, but look down there. I don't think I can get my hand and the camera in there simultaneously, but if you look below that spring to the left, further down in, see the silver bolt? Way back in there, that is marred up. That's not a piece of dirt or something on that nut. That is actually a little bit of, just flat out say it, damage to the, to the fitting. Nothing compromising to structure, but... Not how I would expect to see a nut looking on a brand new machine. So I'll bet you that was the fitting, and that's about where he was pointing. Now for perspective, if I try and hold this camera with one hand and try and put my hand down in there, you see it's not exactly an easy fit to get down in there. I can just barely touch it. Which explains why when he said, I'll bet you that was it. Explains why when he said um, they needed to get a special wrench to get in there and fix it, I'll bet you that's why it's messed up. I'm not going to get upset about that. 
I'm happy it's fixed, and that is not. I can see and feel if I get my hand just right, I can get my hand down in there. I ain't moving anything, but I can see that, uh, that was, I'll give that a 95 percentile that that's what they were working on. Okay. Because nothing else up here looks dirty. Now what I was told was it was loose enough that they could while we put this back together what I was told was this uh, fitting was loose enough they could actually uh, spin it by hand. So that gives me an impression that that was definitely either A, I'm being storied to, or B, that was just a pure miss at the Ventrac assembly line. So I don't know which one it was. But now I have a machine back, and I'm going to be happy about that. Okay. I'm not making these super tight, just about as tight as they were when I took them off. And there you have it. Ventrac reassembled. Normal checks before we start this beast up and do anything. My bucket of rags is empty. Let's use let's use this old microfiber cloth. Looks a little high. Why is it high? Let's check that again. It was not high before I sent it in. I'm on like a one degree slope is what the meter said. All I did is I pulled it in from the carport to here so I could work out of the rain, but turns out the rain stopped anyway for this video. Huh. Yeah, it's a little high. I guess they topped off more than just hydraulic oil. I'm not sure why that is. I have to call them tomorrow because they're going to be closed by now. So that's good. Our debris filter. A little bit of junk in there, but nothing. Nothing prominent. problematic, we'll just empty it since we pulled it out. And then the other big one is where is this oil at? Any of the oil level, ooh, the light's in a bad spot. They have the oil level, I can see it. Little cheater idea about the squeeze the tube and see what moves. It's an excellent idea. Helps me see it and it is right smack dab in the middle again. Perfect.